Another example of molecular geometry, if we go back to the carbon dioxide example. The carbon dioxide example has a total steric number of two. There are two ligands, two atoms connected, and again, it doesn't matter if they're connected by a single bond, a double bond, or a triple bond, you just count how many things are connected. And this has zero lone pairs because we only count lone pairs on the central atom, not on the terminal atom. So if you look at table 9.6, steric number of two, two ligands, zero lone pairs, the electron geometry and the molecular geometry are both linear, which is what we knew what the shape was going to be. This shows that 180 degree angle from the oxygen to the carbon to the other oxygen. Whenever the number of lone pairs on the central atom is zero, the electron geometry and the molecular geometry will both be the same. In this case, both of them are linear. The other thing you want to be able to do with these shapes besides identifying them is to be able to answer the question is the molecule polar or is the molecule nonpolar? The polarity is based on the shape and so looking at carbon dioxide's shape we know that oxygen is more electronegative than carbon is and we can draw the polarity of the bond by putting a positive sign by the atom that's positive and then pointing it towards the one that's negative. So this is a polar bond. The oxygen end is more negative and the carbon end is more positive. But then there is also, 180 degrees apart from that, another polar bond. Both of the oxygens pull on the bonding electrons with equal strength so the way to answer the question about polar or nonpolar is to think about a tug of war. In a tug of war, in this case, the carbon is pulled to the right and it's pulled to the left, but it's pulled equally, so neither side wins. And when neither side wins, the molecule is nonpolar. So even though both of the bonds are polar, overall the molecule is nonpolar. If you compare that to NH3, we have a central nitrogen atom that's surrounded by three hydrogens and one lone pair. So if this is a four-way tug of war, when one thing is different, the tug of war has to work out to be uneven, and ammonia is a polar molecule.